Hi, so um, I went to the Russell last night with a few friends, and um, I recited a poem, and I don't think that it went so well, reason being is that this poem I wrote in 2009, I have not picked up this book in a very long time, and um, I decided to get inspired, I, I, I really get inspired very easily, and I decided to go home and just um, work on something that I haven't really got a chance to do, I've been doing everything except some of the things that I really enjoy doing, which is reading and writing. So I decided to go home and write this poem, and now I'm deciding to read it to you this afternoon. All right? So, it's called, um, Be Good to Yourself. <clears throat> when does self-hate become common? When did it evolve? Why do we distance our knowledge instead of getting involved? Our youth are confused and idolizing false gods. Our high learning isn't expansive, and we're getting robbed of our awareness of knowing that you're worth it all. But nah, we'd rather build on rap songs and then fall. We'd rather spend our last to get dressed and impress our haters and put on a show for strangers and spectators. We see you updating your status and catching those stunts, doing it for the vine and likes and the attention that you want, poking your back out and, uplo and uploading the pic, half naked at the party and then coming home sick, selfies on deck and then screaming no filter, but you are filtered. You are the filter. Just filter a palm filter. Filtered hair, filtered nails, filtered skin and labels, filtered lashes, filtered chest, and then a filtered butt if you're able. You're getting money, but it's funny that you have nothing to show. Maybe a Michael Kors bag from TJ Maxx and a bus pass and a chain that's white gold. What are we trying to match up to? Everything's a competition. People are hateful monsters on weekdays, and but then on Sundays they're Christians. Judging people by the pound. Violation because of the crowd. Needing the GPS to find out how many sex partners you had because you're running that thing by the mile. No morals, just following trend. It's okay to sleep with your associate's boyfriend. It's okay to be a sideline. It's okay to jump off just as long as on FB I look like a boss. It's okay to be provocative because I get likes. It's okay to turn up every other night. It's okay social media has corrupt us and has made us believe that it's a priority to spend your rent money on a 24-inch weave. That J's are essential to the ethics of dressing. That it's okay to take from people instead of working for your own earned blessings. It's okay for our kids to be grown, to have bad manners and to fight in school. It's okay to knock the head off my child as long as I don't leave a bruise. Let me curse in front of the baby and then get mad when he repeats it. Let me twerk in front of the baby, then punish her for getting seated. Oh, this world that we live in, social media, you're causing a ruckus. Girls being thug misses because they don't want to be labeled a sucker. Boys calling our daughters bitches, and our daughters are like, nah, put in front of it a missus. And we're all guilty of adding to the conspiracy in one way or another. I'm not here to judge. I'm just like, damn, let's stop hating each other. Let's uplift our friends and dismiss our enemies and let the positivity in. Let's be mindful of nutrition and chill with the drugs that we do. Take care of our bodies now because you're going to need it to take care of you. Let's love ourselves, eat clean, learn something, and be a model. Nah, not for Instagram or Twitter, but for the kids that follow. And I'm not trying to preach. I'm just trying to reach somebody or anybody that these words will leech onto the next because he say, she saying rumors. Nobody wants to stay together. Seeing a couple break up is entertaining and good humor. Misery is at, as all, misery is not, is at an all-time high, and everybody knows what's best for you. But can't keep one partner for the first 48 or long enough to watch the 10 o'clock news. It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your significant other is? Being disrespectful, deceitful, and disgusting. Then bringing it back to his husband or his wife or his kids. Then here goes another status update exploiting your biz. The ball of confusion keeps spinning. And you know how this gets. Show love to yourself by respecting yourself. Do what's right and not totally neglecting yourself. Your self-worth. Where are the morals? We know better than this, yet we short ourselves of longevity, peace, and happiness. And what kind of examples are we setting for our kids? Oh, I know. I'll upload a pic, cooking dinner, and post a status so you know who I do this for. Bid, anything happens to a loved one, it's RIP. We show more love to the person's going than in reality. And I know I can't complain about a thing if I don't do my part, but I'm trying to spread love, not war. And here's a good place to start. I've known what it feels like to be depressed, and I've known how unhappiness feels. Being played, losing friends, feeling shut out by family, not nah, chill. Being talked about, being laughed at, being told I cannot, but I'm good to myself, so you think I'm about to stop? 
I'm not using anything as a crutch to stay down and be victimized. I'm good to myself. I'm worth the smile and I'm doing just fine. So be good to yourself. And um, I'm just on this wave right now that <clears throat> be who you want to be. Be who you are meant to be. Social media has is, is really destructing. And, and these people are trying to, you know, outdo each other. And, you know, they, they throwing their friends under the bus. And, and, and they forgetting about morals. And humanism is just like at an all-time low. It's not cool to be yourself. It's not cool to use correct punctuation and grammar. It's not cool to be nice to people. All of that's not cool. What's cool is getting money, whether it's legally or illegally, um, fighting and I don't know. But all I'm saying is be good to yourself. Because if you're not good to yourself, how can somebody else be good to yourself? And it's okay to be a leader. You don't have to be a follower. Just because somebody else is doing it, just because somebody else is wearing it, just because someone else said it, don't mean you got to do it. Because you're a leader, at some point, they're going to catch up. And um, I don't know. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. And um, peace.